Don't ask me what I bring to the table. I, I am the table. table. Exactly. <laughs> so you are worthy of being the table. Yes. Women were so lowly placed. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. To an extent where wives were considered slaves to their husbands. It's always a woman's mm. problem mm. marriage is not working it's your fault exactly. you're single it's, it's your, your fault. fault you're not pregnant it's your fault uh, there's this rotten ideology in society where if a woman is abused it's uliko mm. mevanini my reasoning is uh i should be able to stay naked and feel safe naked and welcome back to yet another episode such a weird way of me introducing this episode because i have been very inconsistent here and it has taken such a long time a really really long time since the last time we had uploaded a video but it's great to have you here um thank you for joining us in yet another episode it's a great pleasure to be a part of your day to welcome us on your tv screens on your phones on your tablets and laptops wherever you're watching us from thank you so much and with me today i have an interesting guest who we were actually collaborating on on her channel and we just thought why don't we have a part two of the con the, con the conversation that we had already started on my channel and she, she actually gave me that idea and i was like you know what let's do it so here we are uh it's been a minute but we're gonna still continue and we have been having an interesting conversation with the one and only Rose Rosita Paul. Maskeyo Gina, my <laughs> friend. Eh? You see, the, you, you didn't hear how it has been brewed. Eh? So we're not about to just release any key whatever conversation. No, no, please. You want to stay tuned for this anyway. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that she is not uh, a visitor around here. She's been here. Uh, this is the second third time third. yeah third time yeah. yeah because the others went also as two episodes mm. so we were with her on the pk's um episode and now she is here again and we're talking about behaviors that we consider sexist now if you haven't watched the part one because this is a continuation of the conversation that we had been having on her channel so part one is on her channel part two is right here and that's what we're doing so karibuni sana so before you watch uh before you continue watching this if you haven't listened to part one it's somewhere here so please be sure to plug in onto that conversation a very nice one and we're going to continue so without further ado to go to my mama kwa behaviors that we still consider sexist yeah and i think i had finished just on my last point mm -hmm. so i think i'll allow you to just continue on which other behavior you think uh is considered sexist okay uh yes. first of all thank you for having me on your channel mm -hmm. uh it's a pleasure yeah and i'm excited to meet your audience you know we love to have you here as well <laughs> thank you thank you yeah okay so a behavior i consider sexist mm -hmm. is when a woman is opinionated mm -hmm. she is termed as kihere mm. in front in front, She's front, front. <laughs> for those who don't understand ki front, ki front. It's a Greek word for kimbelembele. Oh yes. <laughs> it's uh yeah. you're not supposed to be opinionated mm, yeah. because you are a woman. Yeah. Women are supposed to be told what to do. Mm. They're supposed to be conditioned on what to do every mm, time. Yeah. So when you stand and say I am not comfortable with this, I don't mm. want to do this, mm. I prefer to do this. Mm -hmm. You are termed as Kihere here yeah. and uh you you're have, coming out too strong yes yeah. and you shouldn't why you shouldn't, you shouldn't. you're a woman yeah. you see yeah. and i think that one is very rampant even in uh the corporate world mm -hmm. it's let the men lead you know yeah. you're a woman you wait for instructions mm -hmm. your opinion does not matter, matter you know all, yeah. go to the back bench yeah. so yeah and i think i'd want to tie that with something that we had been seeing mm -hmm. that um you know we work hard to bring a lot to the table especially yes. like now in the set of the corporate world yeah and you know the table mm -hmm. apparently mm -hmm. is the man and we're not, see, we're not here actually to you know ma make men feel you know bad about them because sexism go goes both ways yeah, both to the men and women but on this conversation or rather on this episode mm. we are highlighting 
uh, behaviors for women. So Rosita will also be having another conversation for men, mm. and she'll probably have uh, male guests, and we'll also be uh, on the topic. So we are not here to attack men, but uh, as I was saying, um, the table now. Yeah a lot of times is considered so you have to work hard to mm. bring your opinions you know to mm. the table which is yeah. actually now which is meant to be male dominated exactly and i like an audio that has been going on instagram mm-hmm. that um mm-hmm. uh, it says um what does it say it says don't ask me what i bring to the table i, I am, am the table, table. exactly <laughs> someone asks what do you bring to the table i am the table <laughs> It's actually by a pastor yeah. that I normally listen to a bit on and off. Uh, she's a lady pastor called, I think, Paris something, Leslie, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And she was saying, when you're asked what you bring to the table, say what? I, I am, am the, the table. table. Yeah, so you are worthy of being the table yes. as a woman. So don't yes. ever feel like you really need to work hard to earn yourself a position mm. at the table. You deserve, actually. And if they don't... Mm. See, like you're worthy of it, there'll mm. always be another table that's worthy for you. So yes, they haven't tapped into your values. So exactly. Don't feel that like mm. you are unworthy or you are less of a woman mm. because you do not make to give your opinion. Yeah, at the table. So. Yeah, and as a woman, don't mm. be afraid to share your opinion. Yeah. Don't be afraid to come out strongly, mm-hmm. strongly in quotes because uh, you're supposed to be strong anyway. Yeah, and so don't feel like you need to. Uh, you need to shrink yourself mm. just because you're a woman. It's not about gender in this mm. case. It's you're a person. Yeah. You have your brains. You have your talents. Mm. You have your gifts that are going to be beneficial. Yeah. So don't shrink yourself. Yeah. Speak them out. Yeah. Actually, yeah. there's something you said. You are a person. Yeah. It reminded me of this. Uh, the 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 Buddha Buddha scandal that had just happened, mm-hmm. and um, there was something that was going around that I loved. And you know, there was this analogy of she is someone's daughter, oh, I saw she it. is someone's mother, she yeah. is somebody's sister. Why? Like, it doesn't have to be she is someone's, she is someone. Period. That's it. Like, yeah. there should be justice for humanity mm. itself. Yes. It doesn't have to be like she is someone's daughter for you to feel pity and be mm. like, you know, she's someone's sister, she's someone's. Mm-mm. She is just someone. Yes. So she doesn't have to undergo through the things that, yeah. you know, are attacking her mm. and, and all. Yeah. She's just. A person. She, she's somebody. Yes. Yeah. I think for me another behavior that mm-hmm. I would say or term as sexist yeah. is having roles that are meant for women. Mm-hmm. And this would borrow a lot from traditionalism. Okay. You know, women are known to have their place in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you're a woman, mm-hmm. you're at the kitchen, you're taking Automatically. care of kids. Automatically. Yeah, and that, that is actually... When you look at the history or mm-hmm. um, yeah, the history of sexism and how it came about, yeah, it's a, as a result of um, how women were placed back mm-hmm. then, and mm-hmm. how you know literally like women were so lowly placed, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. to an extent where I was actually reading this, mm-hmm. and to an extent where wives were considered slaves to their husbands. Oh God, that is how it used to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when you were married. Mm-hmm. You knew your place was either to just be in the kitchen, mm-hmm. take care of the family, take yeah. care of the kids, mm-hmm. and for the man, mm-hmm. it's for him to bring security and provide. Mm-hmm. Like that was it. That was what marriage was all about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think as time went by, mm-hmm. women now began to realize that mm-hmm. they deserve more. Mm-hmm. And you know, I mean, like literally, a man would just be there for security and provision. Yeah. Man, but just really your affection, love, mm-hmm. romance, which was out of the question. I and so you. when now years went by, and men, women began to understand their worth and yeah. what they want. Yeah. They wanted. They now began to desire mm-hmm. more, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they wanted more in their marriages. Mm-hmm. And so they wanted, you know, more of love, yeah. more affection. Yeah. Yeah. But this thing was very foreign to men mm-hmm. because even the men themselves, how they were brought up yeah. by you know, their grandfathers, great grandfathers, yeah. they knew that for a man, you are a warrior in your home, mm-hmm. you are a provider. You're the Mama lion. Mimi, si juya, loves, juya, what are those? What are those? Wow, what? <laughs> Mimi, Mimi, school. It's even now, it's even till today. Yeah. You know, you tell your dad or you, mm-hmm. a, a, a woman tells the. the, the, the the man, you know, I need you to show me some affection. That's mm. a man. You may school fees. You may not watch my cost of chakula. Rent in my cost of kulipo. You may not watch my Yeah. That's how it, it is. Mm. So, to a point now that women now have been conditioned to know mm. that my place mm. is at the kitchen. Yeah. So, you, your value mm. is aligned 
to that yeah like if you do not have ch- I mean, it's even bad to an extent that mm. women who don't even have children mm-hmm. so they, they, they're they seen as less of women there's something wrong like with there's you. something wrong with you and mm. you don't know what that woman has been through yeah or what her condition is mm. like so mm. for you to see her as less of a woman because maybe she's not able to bring forth children mm-hmm. and the, today I was actually in church and our pastor was saying he yeah. had seen a meme somewhere mm-hmm. and this and to make matters worse it is a lady mm-hmm. who had actually not even a meme it was a post mm-hmm. by a lady and this lady had said yeah. that um at wale wa mama wa hawana watoto he mwaka mwache kutuma watoto wetu kila mahali and you get to make what as was it's a woman who is saying this like, that's so bad and it's a woman who's saying it oh no and if women who do you don't have your children this year is not the year to send our children get your own like it was so bad so okay. like we have deemed a woman to a point of mm. she doesn't have children she's less of a woman basically so, the value of a woman is yes. who uh, whose wife is she yes how many kids does mm-hmm. she have mm-hmm. and how good of a cook is she I, yeah you exactly. know exactly. and i think uh the unfortunate thing is that we've also sort of accepted, accepted it accepted that we have normalized you know, it yes. yeah to the point of um once you get to a certain age mm-hmm. and you're not married mm. it's what's your problem mm, yeah. you know or if you get into a marriage mm-hmm. and get divorced it's mm-hmm. what's, your what's your problem what did you, what do, did you do for him to divorce it's, you it's yeah. not what happened yeah. between the two of you it's always a woman's mm. problem mm. marriage is not working it's your fault exactly. you're single it's, it's your, your fault. fault you're not pregnant it's your fault It's so messed up that we think of such things and mm. we have demeaned the value of women to such and we're not saying being a mother is bad. I mean no, it's, it's not a weak role. Yeah. Being a good cook or being good in the kitchen it's is good not, to be those it, things. It's good. Mm. But that's not there's more to a woman than that. Yeah, when your value is only based on that. The, the functions that you can I mean that's why anybody can do that. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh I think we can go to your next point. My next point yeah. would be uh decency in terms of clothing and mm-hmm. how women Oof. dress. That's right. Uh there's this sexism towards women where a man feels entitled mm-hmm. to treat a woman in a certain way just because mm-hmm. of how, how she, she has dressed, dressed. Yeah. it's a man touching you or a man spanking you or a man uh staring at you and feeling entitled yeah. and then when you speak up and say i'm not comfortable with this yeah. they say something why like did you why did like you dress that? like that yeah. if you don't want to be touched if you don't want to be like looked that. at uh you better dress better yeah. you see i'm not saying that uh we should be indecent i of course i have my reservations about what is decent or not mm-hmm. i won't talk about that right now mm-hmm. but there is no there is no reason for a man to feel entitled yeah. to treat a woman like that in terms of sexually yeah. just because of how they have dressed You're not justified at, at all, all at all yeah. and this is uh there's this rotten ideology in society where if a woman is abused it's uliko mm. mevanini you see yeah. it's yeah. you got abused because of yeah. how you were dressed you but you see it's wrong because at the end of the day it's abuse towards a person yeah. it's not supposed to be yes who they are and what they are in exactly it's not supposed to be uh the, the your perpetrator had mm. a right to abuse mm. you because of how you had dressed yeah. you see yeah. so this, i feel like this this uh this is the root cause of a lot of sexual violence towards mm. women mm-hmm. and the unfortunate part is society has uh, accepted. accepted it So even when you go to the police mm-hmm. and report it's na kwa nini ulikuwa umevaa hivyo hata wewe as if to mean the man was right yeah, to abuse you yeah. just because of how you had dressed mm-hmm. and that's just messed up and you never see a, a man walking shirtless and being being told or being <sighs> being i don't know it's it's just so weird that it has to be yeah the, the women facing okay though even as sometimes maybe when you see a hot guy maybe a shirtless and like Okay, as I think we go see as as we talk, <laughs> so we're like, ooh, you know. We, we like that. We but don't go like 
you it's, know it's, it's, it's swear swear so say na na use your abs ni aje but we we don't do that you know and and here's the irony mm-hmm. if we do that it's taken as a compliment mm-hmm. to them man unfortunately yeah that's really true oh my god it's, yeah. it's so ironic well, yeah? yeah it reminds me of something that you were saying mm-hmm. right before we got into this conversation that when a man sorry when a woman is in a room filled with men mm-hmm. it's a danger she's in danger like that's how messed up mm-hmm. but when a man is in a is room. room full of women mm-hmm. it's pleasure for pleasure him like pleasure. you just landed yourself this huge jackpot of women yeah. and you know they can actually the way they want i mean you want them to mm, to act on you they will feed you they will clean you they will give you everything you want that's what it's supposed to be oh my goodness it's, it's like we we've come to a point where um i mean it's it's so messed up yeah that the things we are validating nowadays mm-hmm. the things that we have made them a norm nowadays mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i think we are regretting a lot yeah and it's it's going to even affect the generations to come mm-hmm. and how they're going to take them up definitely it's going to be it's going to be so bad yeah so that was my point on decency there is no way a woman can dress that should give a man a right to defile yes woman. never actually i was seeing some comments mm-hmm. somewhere mm-hmm. still on the border border scandal yeah and somebody said um um one of the reasons she was attacked mm. is because of how she had dressed and so the guy said they saw no assault yeah surely yeah so like that's how but it is in anyway, let's not decide about that. Point. Oh my it's, goodness. It's, it's true some it's true ah. some point you can even feel like now yeah. being very outrageous but it's I hope really by the end of this conversation we'll be inspired to change yeah. how we talk how we think how we you know attend to some issues. Yeah. We really don't have, we really mm. need to change our way of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You know sometimes I was thinking about it mm-hmm. and uh this was my this was what i was thinking about yeah. when god created adam and eve they were naked yeah but adam never once said ah she's naked so let me mm. defile her oh yeah you see yeah, so yeah. my reasoning is mm-hmm. uh i should be able to stay naked and feel safe naked yes and okay, feel no, safe. Not, not, naked, not, not like i'll walk naked. around yeah. naked no yeah. but my point is yeah. no matter how i am Safe. dressed yes. i should be able to feel safe, safe because your safety should not be guaranteed mm. by the clothes you're wearing and unfortunately guess what mm-hmm. we are not protecting ourselves against animals mm. we're not protecting ourselves against lions oh. and buffalo it is men like human uh, beings human beings we are ah. protecting your man is protecting you from other a fellow men. man oh my like, goodness it's so messed why why and why we, we need a man to feel safe from other another men. man <laughs> oh like my head can is we change this? can we change this please we should it's so bad another point that i'd also like to mention is yeah. that we consider sexist mm-hmm. is the obje- objectification yeah. of women mm-hmm. and you know how it has to just carry this sexual connotation mm-hmm. it's so bad nowadays that an ad on tv or an ad on socials cannot thrive without you know a hot sexy woman mm-hmm. next to maybe it's a car mm-hmm. maybe it's a i mean it's so weird it, the, the most weirdest of it. it's a toothpaste but a woman has to be there looking I mean, it doesn't make sense. Why is a woman in a bikini and you're advertising a mattress or you're advertising a toothpaste? Like, like yeah, why? Doesn't it? It doesn't have to. So I mean, we end up objectifying women. So, men, for, for for your for your ad to thrive, you need you need this woman who is looking a certain way, mm, mm. and so it makes even women feel bad about themselves that if they don't look this certain way, they don't qualify. they don't feel like they're qualified. Mm. You know, they they don't feel like they're worthy mm. um, of being a woman. Yeah, I I, I just so that feel objectification that. is mm. very very wrong. Just viewing women as sexual objects. Yeah, yeah. but now with that point. Mm-hmm. Um, there is this thing of women have also accepted to be objectified. Mm, yeah. We have yeah. contributed greatly to, it, yes. to that objectification yeah, yeah. because when you think of it mm-hmm. uh for for you to see me as beautiful mm-hmm. 
I will put on a bikini so that mm, I can catch your attention. attention. Yeah, you see? Yeah. So it has gotten to a point even in the music industry mm-hmm. for a song to to Trend. to go viral, yeah. you know, yeah. it has to be very objectified. Mm-hmm. And you'll see even female uh artist yeah. objectifying in themselves, themselves yeah. in the music going to, going to sell as in like you have to show, show yeah you have to entire. show everything and, and and even in the language yeah you know. yeah that's true so and i you feel never like find like men on the other side are the ones who are airing themselves out and that let me tell you the irony <laughs> let me tell you the irony it's very hard for you to see a music video mm-hmm. with a an almost naked man mm-hmm. men are usually very dressed they literally you saw two unaona they're well dressed and then the the woman who is with them is the one who is is totally high nakedness but yeah. the difference is this small so i feel like we've also accepted yeah, it and we have true. embraced true. it and gone yeah, for it yeah. so I've even on it. on social media for mm-hmm. me to get very many likes, likes yeah. I have to. Your cleavage has to be on the Yes, I have to objectify myself. I have mm-hmm. to show myself in a certain way, yeah. and I think this is something that can be very hard to fight because mm-hmm. we, as women, have already accepted it. Mm-hmm. So unless we come out and say, you know what, mm-hmm. enough is enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am not doing we are not supposed to do this anymore yeah, yeah. we are not uh, going to allow men to objectify us mm-hmm. i think it's going to be very hard to yeah. to get over that objectification that's very true mm. and these are just but our opinions we are not of saying course. like this is the standard like this is gospel gospel truth i don't want to say gospel truth because to some extent it <laughs> could be gospel truth okay yeah but these are our opinions that's why we are welcoming even you mm. to engage with us in the comment section mm. also indulge in this conversation let, let us know what you think about more behaviors that are considered sexist mm. and um let's indulge and get to know we're also not experts um mm. enough to talk about sexism mm. but we're just sharing in our own experiences mm. and the things that we have seen the things we have mm. maybe gone through at a personal level mm. um yeah and so we are welcome you to also be part of the conversation and let's share with one another so please make use of the comment section mm. as we continue mm. what's something else that you could consider uh what i could consi- see eh. <laughs> consider no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> what something else i consider as sexist is mm-hmm. when men mm-hmm. uh strongly believe and insist mm-hmm. that women are manipulative money eating Mm. Uh, and uh, did you say manipulate like to be like, like manipulative in, oh i thought like you were using it in a how it metaphor it? not a metaphor but i thought like i don't know how to put it i thought you were using it as um like money a, a pun. like oh. okay, yeah like a pun, like <laughs> manipulative oh, i would like, have sounded so smart i should have done that <laughs> Okay, go on, go on, go on. Okay, men who treat women as manipulative mm-hmm. and money hungry. Mm-hmm. These are the men who say mm-hmm. uh, women only come into your life for your money. Mm-hmm. So they have turned and placed women on this platform where a woman is just in my life for oh, their money. money. Yeah. So even when you are, say, pursuing a genuine relationship with this man, mm-hmm they will think you're in it for, for their money. money you see and as a result of that mm-hmm. they uh how can i say they subjugate you to some no way what's here you they sub they they sub they subjugate you <laughs> continue my sister how bad in your house well uh, okay let me come down let me come down no, okay. <laughs> my, my viewers my viewers are internet don't joke okay those are, those are the kind of terms we interact with you just continue <laughs> they they just uh, sort of treat you as mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh what what's the word they just treat you as somebody to get their money yeah, you see yeah, yeah. so they also feel like because i have the money mm-hmm. i should be able to get any woman mm-hmm. you're okay, saying okay, okay, okay. i saw a status mm-hmm. uh the, on on women's day mm-hmm. somebody had written mm-hmm. a man had written all the money in the world would not make sense without women Oh wow! And wait, all the money in the world would not make sense without women. So in short, oh, like if it's not being used on, on women, women, it's useless. And this 
leads to the point of I have so much money I should be able to afford 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 as many women as, as I, I want. want I should be able to buy any mm. woman I want because you have money you can buy it because women are money hungry and that's why for me when i'm going out with somebody mm-hmm. and all you talk about is your money mm, it's how much job. you make yeah. uh yeah. what expensive thing you bought you do, yeah. ama you tell me hey this watch is really expensive Pensive, or yeah. i bought this very expensive mm-hmm. shoe that i really love mm-hmm. or so i live in this a very expensive estate yeah. my red friend flag, red flag, red it's flag. a red flag because yeah, the lady in, in in other words you're trying to tell me don't worry my sister i can, I can afford, afford you you, you yeah, know you to be worried about money ah my friend me run like no i am not here because i'm money hungry i'm not here for your, your, your money your money is not based off of the money that exactly the money has. and you see it's unfortunate again because women have accepted i was actually now going to that there's now this other flip side mm. of the coin that now women we have accepted that yeah. to a point of the only thing that we look for in, in a, a man, man is, is money. money how and rich is so bad yeah. nowadays that we have Wababas. Yeah. My friend, and you're waiting. As long as you're going to Mubaba, you're good to you're, go. You're sorted. And so we have put ourselves mm. in a point where we are willing to interfere with people's marriages. Yes. For the sake of money. For the sake of money. You know, for you to match up that, to buy that expensive V, mm. to fit in into this club, you know, yeah. to get into this status quo. Mm. And so now we're doing anything and everything to That's get money. that money, yeah. other than working hard. Mm. Because please don't tell me working hard to get a Mubaba is working hard. It's not. It's not. It's not. Please, we can have, we can give ourselves some dignity to that. Yes, and we need to do yeah. that. There's there's a there's a sound on TikTok mm-hmm. I came across. I'm I'm very uh I really love being on TikTok. TikTok. So I came this sound and it was saying mm-hmm. uh I've changed my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get married to a wealthy man. So the idea mm-hmm. of this TikTok is mm-hmm. you as a woman write something you're tired of doing. Mm-hmm. So women wrote things like I'm tired of going to school. Mm-hmm. I'll change my plan and just get get okay, married to a wealthy man. Uh-huh. I'm tired of running my own business. Let me get married to a wealthy man. I'm tired of being employed. Oh, no. Let me get married to a wealthy oh, no. man. Oh, no. Oh, no. So women have accepted it. Mm. We've accepted it's it. It's more to us, imagine. Yeah. Than having to get married. And you know the thing is, okay, you get married to a wealthy man, and then what next? This wealthy man could be a robber. Yeah, you don't even know the source of. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of another story that um, it was a story that was really going viral, and it was this lady who was sharing her story mm-hmm. about um, how she got married to this man, mm-hmm. and this man was rich, you know, good, so yeah. nice, yeah. and uh, I, don't, I think maybe she didn't bother to know the source of his wealth, mm-hmm. and no, I and mean, I think she did, mm-hmm. but every time the man would, I mean, the, the the lady would try to ask the man, "Where are you getting all this money mm-hmm. from?" Mm-hmm. He would just go with, you know, mm. you're getting this, you're getting this, you mm. don't really have to know. Mm-hmm. And so she, they got married, and in the first year, they think of their marriage was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think it got to somewhere, I think the lady knew mm-hmm. you know, what um, this guy was into, mm-hmm. and he was in a cult. Oh my goodness. So, mm-hmm. so you see, where things, where money mindedness can get us to. Yeah. You can get, get so into, blind. You can get yourself so stuck in mm. something that's really and money is not a bad thing, by the way. It's not. And it's it's a good thing. It yeah. gets us it's good to have your, to have lots yeah. of money. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. But are we willing to one have dignity mm. enough to work hard to get our own money? Like let yeah. our money be from our sweat. Mm. But but you without a man, mm. you can still thrive mm. without having to depend on him for. True, money. true. I was reading a book, uh, The Smart Money Woman, mm-hmm. and I've just remembered this particular statement that really struck me. Mm-hmm. And it said, every time, where, uh, every every person who is on the receiving end mm-hmm. of, uh, how do I put it? I don't, of course, I can't remember the exact words, mm-hmm. but the point was, when you, especially as a woman, are mm-hmm. on the receiving end of money money Mm -hmm. money becomes your lord Mm -hmm. 
Ah, it controls you. It controls you. you. So you always put yourself in in a situation where Mm -hmm. you're receiving money and you don't care where it's coming coming from, from. you know. And that's a very uh, terrible space to be in, especially as a woman. Because in the end, men will take advantage advantage of you. you. And then at the end of the day, you're like, men are trash. No, Mm. sis. You 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 took slow. You decided to put your mm. value and your worth, your, your worth so down yeah. that anybody who was passing by, mm. you know. The, exactly. And yeah. once you show a man that the only thing you need from him is money, yeah. trust me, as long as they can give you that money, they will we treat you any how Yeah. 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 So, mm. Please do not allow yourself to be uh, not a demigod, to be no, what, is, what do you call something that is used used uh, in terms of don't allow yourself to become a servant of money uh, That's what I'm trying okay to say. okay yeah. like you are much more mm. than money you mm. much more than just thinking about yeah money. like yeah think about what's your purpose what's exactly. your vision? What vision are you you know here for mm. and things like that exactly I think for me I'd want to close with one last point mm-hmm. which I think we have touched on yeah uh, when it comes to dressing mm-hmm. for me would be uh differentiating good and bad women based on how they are dressed mm. like when a woman is in a fiery skirt or wife material your wife material or they are holy mm. but sometimes we even see it's actually the opposite like you could be By all dressed so well yeah but you are a sheep you're a wolf in sheep's clothing yes yeah so really i don't think um my value is based or rather i i am good based on how i dress mm, mm-hmm. just because maybe my skirt today was reaching me somewhere above my knee mm. that i'm ready to open my legs and you know become a slut or something mm-hmm. for lack of a better word mm-hmm. but really i don't think we're defined by you know what we we dress in which mm. i think we've touched on yeah a bit when we're talking about dressing mm. so you really cannot define a woman mm. by how she chooses mm. to dress mm. yeah but uh, also, we th- I also think uh, we as women should also stop doing to be that. Very careful, yeah. Yeah, because uh, there's no way I, as a woman, will judge you, mm-hmm. and then uh, say a man should not judge you. You see, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we should also stop judging each, each other, other as women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's so much more to somebody's dressing. Mm-hmm. Remember, we are also not. We are not uh, talking of. Mm. as a particular standard we are yeah. talking very relatively yeah. Yeah. yeah so at the end of the day it's uh we should not be treated yeah. based on our clothing yeah. Yeah. although there's this thing that says uh let me know what you think mm-hmm. uh that says you will be addressed Dressed the way her. you dress oh, yeah. dress what do you think about that well i think part of it is true mm-hmm. because how you dress we cannot we cannot really lose sight of mm. how you dress really brings a certain command oh yes like it's you know when a person meets you mm-hmm. the first way they are going to tell about you is just how, how you i dress. mean somebody will not meet you and they say mm. i have seen your heart mm. i have they seen can't. your soul yeah Actually, this is how i think you look at your bread your mind no really that's not what is going to happen yes. it's a person will just tell about you mm-hmm. with how you have chosen dressed. to dress yeah so i think it's it's really true mm. but mm. i don't think like that should form the standard on how you're going to define okay somebody true yeah true. maybe because maybe somebody was just having a bad day that mm. day and mm. you know, they were on their way to the office and mm. you know like ngozake is what is the and the only best one was maybe a casual yeah. dress yeah and, you know, so don't really define yeah somebody. i think i i used to be like that kitambo mm-hmm. i used to be very uh I would treat you based on how you dressed, mm-hmm. but with maturity and with yeah, growth yeah. and with sitting down with people and hearing their stories, yeah, yeah. I realized some of these people dress how they do because mm. somebody took advantage of them yeah. when oh, they were yeah. decent. Yeah, so yeah. they got to a point of I don't care. I don't care because yeah, society because, has taught yeah, us yeah, yeah, yeah. be decent and no man no will, one will touch you. Yes. Yeah. But in, in real sense, sense, a man will touch you whether or not you're yeah. decent. So somebody will go like, okay, mm. so if I was decent and they still yeah. did this so, to 
Why can't let me them go and carrying everything exactly. everywhere? Let me give them what they want. Yeah. Let me it really mm. affects them. And it comes from a point of bitterness and pain. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you point a finger at such a person, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are doing more harm than, than good. good. So yeah, I really just had my mind changed after mm. sitting down with mm. so many people mm. and also from my own experiences mm. and I thought, you know what? enough of treating enough. people based yeah. on how they've dressed yeah. i would rather we sit down mm-hmm. so that i can know where you're coming from yeah. that way i will know you for you not because of yeah. how you've dressed and it has even gone so bad mm-hmm. still in the dressing aspect yeah it's gone now deep down to even body shaming mm, like yes. now because a woman you know when men say they like women with ass they yeah. want women with breasts mm. and so when a woman does not have those mm. maybe she's not blessed that way mm. you disregard her you so know nice. and uh, even others go and go ahead and say mm. uh when a woman is blessed mm. body wise mm. they probably hear they're lacking ah. or when they uh, they have here when yes. they have brains yes. and don't look for i mean you really can't have both mm. that's what they try to call it. and also if you have a good body mm-hmm. Me I've oh, experienced yeah. that. I've experienced that oh, in wow. town. I was just talking Somebody somewhere. Somebody just told you that. Actually, a group of men will come to catch Pamoja. Mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. street, they're selling clothes. Yeah. So me, I'm passing by. Mm-hmm. And they call out on each other. And they're like, Oh, no, I don't have to go to the I felt oh, so bad. No. I was like, my goodness. And I was very decent, by the way. Very. Oh, in no. my definition. Yeah. Hey, they said, I don't have to go to and mm-hmm. for some reason i just didn't have the strength to react mm-hmm. because i knew it's, it's not true yeah, yeah. but the fact that it happened yeah. it shows that um they're making oh, demands yeah. on how yeah. women should look should, yeah. but when you look like that it's mm-hmm. because no, ah, it's so, messed up. so like you really can't be a whole package in one it's either like and then it's so many things when she's so blessed and she mm. has no brain yeah. she's shrubbing yeah <laughs> see when she's <laughs> like it's uh, okay, so some oh, of those things you make fun of them, we say yeah. them as jokes, yeah. yeah. But you are hurting somebody. They, they like really you don't hurt. know how yeah. how deep that goes. Maybe to somebody you're just saying it they're, 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 they're laughing, mm. but deep down maybe they're just being cut. And, yes. You know. So mm. let's not really we are we are made of mom. Yeah. And this goes to both men and women. Sure. Let's really not define people based on how they look, based on how they won. Mm. Um like really somebody's value is not based on what you see even god himself he sees the heart so yeah. who are you to come who, who and asked thou? <laughs> who is you <laughs> uh to As come a, and you know just yeah. give somebody value based on w- w- what they see to yeah. be. and i think this is a good place to wind up this video sure. uh, to wind up this conversation but it does not end here yeah let's keep the conversation def- going definitely mm. and uh i'm really looking forward to the men's one i really just the comments conference yeah i'm really, <laughs> really looking forward to it and yeah. just to hear what men will have to say mm. because i definitely know that even with them they can they, they, they can yeah the they, ha- they experience a lot of things mm. and we can still have beautiful conversations from true, them true. please let's not shy away from such conversations mm. let us um talk about them but talk about them in light mm. to inform people yeah um and if you have learned something new today mm. please be sure to practice so be sure to share it with somebody and let them engage in this uh, conversation mm. um definitely shedding light yeah. and having a sa- sound mind about it yeah and let's just change everything how we treat one another as men and women mm. as children let's let's just have a new way of thinking mm. that really places both gender at an equal uh, you know scale mm. so yeah looking forward to seeing what you're going to be uh sharing with us in the comment section yes. let us indulge mm. but before we close i'd like to finish with a verse mm-hmm. uh, from the book of galatians chapter 3 verse 8 mm-hmm. uh, that formed, uh, the conclusion of our episode and it says mm-hmm. there is neither jew nor gentile there is no slave nor free nor is there male and female for you are all one in christ jesus yeah. now if you go back to part one there's a place where we were talking about equality and mm. sameness mm. and how god sees all of us as equal yeah and therefore when god says that there's neither male and female mm. not that there's 
we, there's no like there's definitely man and woman mm. but in god's eyes god sees us as one man actually mm. when this aspect of the body of christ yeah god sees us as one he desires to see us as one man mm. he doesn't see rosita he mm. doesn't see sharon mm. he doesn't see so and so and so he sees one man mm. so may that be um our driving force yeah that god sees us all the same mm. in our differences in our strengths and weaknesses god sees us as one person so yeah let us know that we are equal yeah. and in our differences may we live to complement mm. one another yeah and so with that uh god bless you thank Be you sure for to watching share. and thank you for coming yes it was it was great to have you here to share in the conversation this was also fun yeah it was I've really, really enjoyed and it. very i think we've really uh searched deep yeah you know? we've really gone deep yeah and when we were starting we were really skeptical and you know we are bit tense like <laughs> We hope this is not going to go south because it's a very sensitive topic yeah. but you have done a really good job. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank and you I was too. also I also appreciated my time on her channel. So mm. please be sure to watch part 1 yeah. if you haven't to just to get um a retrospect of where this conversation is coming from. Yes. And with that, mm. see you on the next one. Bye. Bye everyone.